Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's uh, season 34, and this is war number 5. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Cosmos. So, we're going to go in here and check to see what their defense looked like, and formulate a plan. Actually, no, let me not do it that way. I want to go to the other screen so that I can see who's banned. So, let's go here. No! They banned my Spider-Man 2099. I don't like y'all. I don't like y'all at all. All right, well, let's uh, preview. See what we got. I take path three. Oh, so they're gonna give me an Electro first thing, huh? Okay, I see. All right, so we got Electro. Okay. And then we've got Immortal Abomination. I think Claire should be able to handle both of those without too much difficulty. But if I can't bring Spider-Man 2099 in and I bring in uh, Nick Fury, he could also do... Um, both those fights if I needed him to. Oh, somebody's in. <laughs> Somebody just jumped in. All right, path number one is being taken right now, and I'm going to be in there in a minute. So I may or may not have to take that Magneto, but I'm thinking Claire for that Magneto. We'll see. All right, we got Nick Fury down here. Blech. Um, man, I should bring in, uh, Omega Red, but I only have my five star. Okay, then we've got Captain Marvel. Nick can do that if I'm careful. And just kind of go ham, don't back up, just go. Maybe put a, a invulnerability boost on and just go. Up here... Uh, Claire can handle both of those. Ooh, and then this one. What What are they? I still don't know. How can I tell? Let me see. All right, here goes one. Ah, uh, Mystic Dispersion. So. Buffet. Okay. Yeah, Kiteness. Um... Warlock should be able to handle that fight without any difficulty. Now over here. So they have a Penny Parker boss. Now I see why they didn't want Spider-Man 2099. Um, but I have fought her with um, Black Widow. It wasn't pretty. But we can get her down. Um, we've got see um hmm yeah warlock should be able to do that one as well um so could claire for that matter yeah and then what about this one i'm just looking to see who i might be able to take if necessary Uh, if I have to. Who did they ban again? Okay, Magneto, Torch, and Spidey. And see, this uh, Doom. Nick could handle that one as well. Maybe a Pain. But all of that depends on if the real Nick is out. Because if the real Nick is out, then some of these fights I don't want to do with him because I run suicides. And 30% health is not great unless I'm going to pop a, a invulnerability boost. And down here we got Thing. We've got Nimrod. Hmm. Got 
got Sauron up there. Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes uh, towards the end here. And who they need me to fight. All right. Let me jump in there and uh, we'll see if I have to take that uh, Magneto or not. All right, so be right back. And I'm back. And a surprise, Hercules goes to war. I love using Hercules. I usually have him in Alliance Quest, but Alliance Quest at this point is over. And so I have him free and they went ahead and banned uh, Spider-Man 2099. So there was an opening and he slipped right in. So I don't use him in war uh, very often, but I love him. And right now, because AQ is more of a focus, he is in Alliance. I mean, uh, Alliance Quest is more of a focus than Alliance War. He's usually in Alliance Quest, unless a situation like this happens. So I'm going to use this first one. We've got Electro. Now, I remember when Electro would uh, be a defender, you had to bring Black Cat to take him. Otherwise, it was not going to be a nice time for you. But that's okay. Because look at Hercules. And the thing that I like about Hercules is he has that immortality when he's awakened. So I don't even have to worry about Electro. He's done. Even if Electro were to have taken me down and triggered my immortality, so what? He would still die. Uh, that's why Hercules is very often uh, banned in Alliance War, but it's all good. Now, this fight here, I've learned my lesson. Do not go in here with someone who's not poison immune. I learned that lesson so hard. So I'm going to use Claire and I'm going to switch into her Curse of Plague mode right there. So that's the mode I'm going to stay in. You'll notice that I'm not doing five hit combos very often. Um, see right there is a four hit combo. That's because a lot of times if I try to do it, it will read my last hit as a light attack rather than the medium swipe, uh, medium attack that it should be. And I'll switch and not really want to switch and possibly cause me to lose the fight. So just to be safe, I just uh, did like four hit combos, maybe three hit combos. We baited that out. He got me in the corner, but that's okay. Uh, now you see, I switched to Curse of Hellfire, but that's okay because he's almost done. So I know at this point, he's not gonna be able to kill me before I can get him. All right, see there, boom. Pushed him all the way, done. Because I really didn't want to deal with his special two. The special two, I can block it. I can't really evade it, but I can block it. But that puts up that that poison uh, or uh, even if you're poison immune, that thing hurts. So didn't want to uh, push him to a special two unless it was my ending fight. Okay. Now, this Nick Fury, I don't think I messed with him. Yeah, I think I said, no, thank you. Let the other guys who fight him, fight him. All right. Now, you'll notice in this war, if you're watching this now, they've already added the nodes and the uh, death or, or attack bonus um, little uh, notifications there. Uh, but at this point, they weren't in yet. All right, so... We went on to uh, uh, section two, and I can fight Guillotine 2099. I know what to do. I know how to fight her. Um, so it shouldn't be too much of a big, you know, deal. What you want to do is you want to start off with a heavy attack. And the reason you want to do that is her Digicloak, which is so annoying. That Digicloak will trigger right when you are in the middle of a combo, sometimes when you just hit that first hit, it'll go off 
and she'll be wrecking you and you can't hit her. It's not fun. Now, uh, depending on who you're going up against her with, uh, you may not need to do the first hit. You may be fine. I think um, Magneto doesn't need to worry about that, uh, but I do. So uh, I was looking over it. I'm still not clear on the whole mystic dispersion um, defense tactic and why her being a tech uh, is affected by it, but whatever. We at least see the uh, indicator that she is affected by it. All right, so you're going to see me parry heavy. First thing, get that Digicloak on cooldown. Now I can go in without even worrying about it. And I'm watching the timer, okay? I do want to push it to a special two because it's easy to evade. And counter. One, two, three. You want to three evade, and then boom, you can counter her... Um, special two attack uh so she fires that off you want to evade three times wait for it hit her with a heavy and you're good to go all right so boom 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 done <laughs> i was waiting i was like wait a minute is the timer up and then i looked up and i said oh wait she's almost dead wow <laughs> and finished her off so not difficult if you know how to fight her all right so Last one on my path, and I believe the mini was already taken. So we've got Sentinel. Sentinel is not hard to fight. Um, if you don't want a longer fight, I recommend not doing the same attack, unless you're Magneto. Uh, so you'll see me do, um, you know, medium light, medium attacks like that to keep the analysis charges down. I'm hitting him, getting my feet in to, to ramp Hercules up. And he's already doing some delicious damage. Special intercept. Now I've got precision buffs up, so I'm doing a lot more uh, crits and damage. See, I'm just waiting for him there, but boom. Take him out nice, quick, and easy. I wish I had two. Uh, six star rank three Hercules or that he wasn't locked in uh, Alliance quest because you'd see him a lot more in Alliance war All right, so now We get down to mini boss island here You can see there's a killmonger on that hazard shift node and We've got Nimrod over there and it looked like they were having a little trouble with that uh, Nimrod So I said all right, I hate this node you guys already know, I hate this node with a passion. Stunning reflection, hate it. All right, but it's all right because Hercules with feet is stun immune. So not really a big deal. <sighs> I wish I had him uh, 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 another one or he wasn't locked in a uh, Alliance quest. All right, look at this, look at this, just, just, uh. Just tow him up, tow him up. It wouldn't have mattered if he hadn't been hurt like that. Hercules would have still took him out. So Nimrod is down. Now we've got the fight that I already know is going to be a pain. I do not know how to fight Sauron. I know he goes unblockable all the time. I cannot seem to evade his unblockable uh, very well. And usually I'm going to get hit. Just, it's just going to happen because I don't know how to evade that properly. I've done it, so I know it's possible. I just need to practice it a bit more. So one thing to counter the unblockable would be an invulnerability boost. Just accept that I'm going to get hit with that unblockable and go in with an invulnerability boost. Maybe that'll get me you know, enough to, to survive and finish the fight? Maybe not. All right, so I chose Warlock to deal with all that regen. All right, you see all that regen? Now look at that, he's got unblockable ready. Now I, what I should have done right here um, is I should have pushed him to a special two, backed off and let him fire that off. But as you can see, we are already down some in uh, indestructible charges, just like that.
It just happens. All right. So here we go again. And that time I parried because I didn't want to deal with um, his special right just then. All right, here we go again. Now see, that is evadable. I just need to get the timing. I gotta get that timing. All right, but we hurt him good, all right? He's, he's getting hurt. And Warlock, he is, it, it kind of hurt me a little bit, his power drain. And then I just died. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But I just died. I might have been able to still uh, win that fight. But I'm just like, all right, whatever. <clears throat> now it's time to just clean this up. All right, so we got Hercules in here. And Hercules, as usual, I don't have to worry about him getting hurt. I don't need, I, I think the invulnerability is still up. But we're not going to need it. Not going to need it at all. Down he goes. All right, so that's the last fight that I did for this war. I did not do the boss fight this time. Hazard Shift was still up, and whoever came in did Hazard Shift, and then they did the boss, and I wasn't needed. All right, so we're going to take a brief intermission, and we'll be back, and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back and we won. This is the first war of the season that we have won. So whew, hopefully we'll keep on winning and we'll still end up probably platinum four like we usually do. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.